Hello there, my name is Chloe Taylor Brown. I'm here at the Georgia World Congress Center for the Judson's Women's Leadership Conference. And I have the pleasure to be here with Kim Bearden. How are you today? I'm doing great. This has been a wonderful day. Yes, and you're with the Ron, you're actually the executive director, one of the creators of the I am co founder and executive director there, and I actually teach at the Ron Clark Academy as well. So, so a little you, bit of everything. I know. <laughs> so, what do you like best about having created this wonderful school that is nine years now? Nine years in operation. Uh, the kids are obviously the best part of our school. Uh, they are my heart and soul and joy. But what our school does that I'm very proud of is that we are actually an educator training facility. So we actually invite educators from around the world to come in our classes, watch us teach, and take our methods and ideas back. And we just finished our ninth year. We've had over 36,000 educators come. And so we're excited about the work that that can help them do with their students. Now, when they come from all around the world, I think that the day that I was there, there were a group of people. They're probably coming in every day. But... Do you, are they like your little children's schools when they go off into the world and they start teaching your program? Well, we, what we hope is that there's three things we focus on. We focus on student engagement. How do you get every child excited about learning? Academic rigor, school should be hard. And how do you create a climate and culture where kids can be successful? So it's a combination of passion and enthusiasm and creativity, but also discipline, manners, respect. And so. We do hope that those teachers are taking those ideas and those things back to their schools. And we do find that there's been tremendous success with how schools have been transformed by using some of our methods. This is awesome. Now, when I was there, Ron jumped up on the table. Oh, yeah. He's still, he's still jumping on tables nine years late. Yeah. <laughs> so is that just his personality or is he trying to get the kids to be very It's active. whatever it takes to get kids excited. But we do embrace movement. We, okay. we embrace you know music and song in addition to lots of other techniques. And so um, he does, I jump on tables in my four inch heels too, believe it or not. But not all of our teachers do. We just all exude passion. And, and what we want teachers to understand is that passion can take a lot of different forms. Mm -hmm. But whatever form it takes, when you exude it, people will be drawn to it. It gets kids excited about learning. And when I was there, the kids just came up to me as though they were waiting for me, that, that they were, they had no idea it was coming. But they made me feel as though I was a very special VIP coming to your, so do you teach them about interpersonal relationships? We do, we, we work, it's, it's a place that's full of a lot of love too, so they were, they were probably just really anxious to meet they you. Would give me some but love. also it's just that idea of how do you give a handshake? How do you look someone in the eye? How do you make uh, someone feel significant? How do you interact with people? people and have conversations. We teach all of those soft skills because we think that that's a key also to helping our students be successful in the whatever career they choose as well. Right, it's helping them to be relatable. Yeah, yeah. So what do you have uh, a plan for the summer? Well, I actually get to travel a lot during the summer. I um, actually go to visit lots of different school districts all throughout the country. And so in the month of August, I'm pretty much on the road uh, visiting school districts, giving them ideas and techniques, and also doing keynote addresses, and then to gear back up for my start of school in September. But I also, I have three adopted sons from Soweto, South Africa that are all 14. So there's going to be a little play in there, too, because we're going to go to the beach and something oh, like that. Wow. <laughs> so, you guys are talking with those Yeah, boys. so we're going we're gonna to have some fun before I hit the road, for sure. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with us. Thank you for having Thank me. Okay. Thank Excellent. you.